What else do we have there, Seton, poll question-wise? Paul just threw out another one here uh, that's interesting. I'm curious to see where he's going with this, but the poll question is, I'm old school or new school? Hmm. If you had to describe yourself. Well, I'm old school, which with shades of new school. Like, it, like it's there. Like the inside is old school. You know, you go into somebody's house and you go, man, this hadn't been changed in years. Yeah, that's me. But the exterior, you know, I can dress it up and wear like a Kraken sweatshirt today. Yeah, you can. Yeah. Yeah, you can. Yeah, and I'm doing it today. But how about your philosophies? My philosophy. Life? Like everything was better in the old days? No, no, no. You can't do that. Um, not in this business, but also running a family where you're like, that's the way my dad did it, and that's the way I'm going to do it. Can't do it. I think you lean towards new school. Right? I do. Because I, I know how you treat your kids and yes. things like that, so I would say you're more new school. I try to be newish school, but there, there's an old school mentality that's still there, always going to be there. Yes, Eden. It's difficult to keep up your new schoolness, though, because <laughs> society moves like if you uh, – it, it is constantly pushing forward. And so your new school uh, thoughts right now in 10 years will be old school. So you have to keep advancing your, your new schoolness. Mm -hmm. You're sort of lots of, uh, I'm sort of at that age too, where my new schoolness is being pushed into old schoolness. And it's like, I have to reject that a little bit mm -hmm. have to keep advancing. Okay. Marvin, you uh, old school? Mm, certain things I'm old school, but. For the most part, I'm new school, especially with my son. Yeah, because your mom was tough on you. To to an extent, but she was hilarious. Yeah, so, but when you said you were thirsty and she said... Oh, to drink spit. <laughs> well, Good advice. Well, in context, I did something really bad at school <laughs> earlier in the oh, day. Oh, so, yeah, yeah, You yeah, left yeah. that out oh, all yeah. these years. Oh, no, 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 no. Bridget was not a... Drink spit just on a regular uh, Wednesday it's, night. It's no. mom, not Bridget. Yeah, no. it, it's mom. Wait, you call your mom Bridget? Well, I don't call her that, but... Oh, but you're calling her that now. And Sorry, in our family, sometimes we'd be like, hey, you see Marianne? She's right there. <laughs> just just because you go into a store, hey, Ma, every, every woman turns around? Yeah. Bridget, she turns around. Like, all right, I got your attention. My now. kids do that with my wife. Yeah. Because she doesn't turn around, and they finally yell out her name, and then she turns around. Yeah, Paul. My sister's kids, when they got about 13, 14, 15, 15, started calling their parents Kevin and Carrie. And I was like, huh? So I think I might be old school. But no. I don't think I'm going to fly with that. My kids are getting to that age. Yeah, Marv. Oh, no, no. I don't mean like on a regular like basis. I'm just explaining to you guys. Because sometimes, uh, like me and my friends, we'd go, my, my friend uh, Goo, his mom's name is Karen. He goes, yeah. Wait, your friend's name is Goo? Yeah. Okay. Real real name Kashif, nickname Goo. Goo. Of course, yeah. Sure. Yeah. I could see that. And so he would say, hey, Karen doesn't play those games. Okay. Yeah. You're just explaining. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah, see. yeah, we just had this conversation yesterday, actually, in my house, where my father-in-law's name is Joe, and he goes by Joe pretty much all the time. And even when my wife is referring to him to other people, she'll say Joe, but she calls him dad. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So you kind of use both names. So when we talk to... Uh, say my son about be like, oh, Joe's coming this weekend. He, my son calls his grandfather Joe. Okay. Because that's what Joe wants to be called. Yeah. He doesn't want to be, you know, pop or anything. But then, but then you have this where uh, your daughters start dating and then they bring a boy home and then all of a sudden he wants to know if he can call you Dan. Nope. <laughs> well, <laughs> one of my daughter's boyfriends calls me Mr. Patrick. And the other daughter's boyfriend calls me Dan. How old is the guy who calls you Dan? 27. Man, that's close. What well, about Mr. Patrick? How old is he? Uh, he's 30. But here's the issue. The one who calls me Mr. Patrick, that relationship is further along with my daughter. Whereas the other one has the no other shot one, now. No, <laughs> but, but, he, but he found out that you know, my other daughter's boyfriend calls me Mr. Patrick, and he was mortified that he had been calling me Dan. Oh, no, that's yeah. tough. That's and, tough. And I said, look, you know, down the road, you want to call me Dan, that's fine. But, you know, up until uh, we get to the wedding, you know, I'd like to be Mr. Patrick. That's a cutoff. Yeah. But does it become Dan or Dad? Uh, he could call me Dan. Okay. I'm okay with that. Man, I don't know what I would want to be called. 
But well, I didn't want to be called Dan. I mean, it's weird. You, you know, like you guys haven't experienced any of this stuff, but those are things where you're like, all right, are you in it for the long haul here? You know, hey, Dan, how are you? And then the other one's like, hey, Mr. Patrick. All right. And then all of a sudden, the other one's going, oh, my God, I didn't know that you're called Mr. Patrick. And I'm like, yeah, 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 more. Yeah, so when I refer to you, I say DP because I still feel weird calling you Dan. <laughs> because if Bridget was like, who are you calling Dan? Oh, so your mom would tell you to call me Mr. Patrick. My mom, my grandma. Okay. Wait, who the hell are you calling Dan? <laughs> I said, well, he. I, I'm okay with you calling me Dan. Yeah, but I still. Or DP. Yeah, I just kind of go DP. Yeah. No, I got it. Yes, Paul. All right. So one of us hasn't talked yet about this. I'm curious with Todd. His daughter's about 18 years old. I know she's had some boyfriends, according to Todd. What do they call Todd? I get Mr. Fritz, and I think that's how it should be, even if it makes me feel old. I think in the early part of a relationship, and then as it goes on and things become more comfortable and it looks like it's becoming a thing, I don't know what that exact amount of time is, but you know it when you uh, see it or feel it, then maybe we can start talking about Todd. But I think it has to start with some kind of respect in that way. Yeah, yeah I agree. Mm. Now, I did, what if, what if the kids say, thank you, Todd? <laughs> Like your your daughter's and doing boyfriend, it just as a, like a shout out to the Dan Patrick show, I could wink at it. Yeah, but you know, you're talking, and all of a sudden, you know, your daughter's boyfriend goes, uh, "Thank you, Todd." So that's thank you, Mr. Fritz. Okay, now, okay. Pass the mashed potatoes okay. and right. respect Fair your elders. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. Pass the mashed potatoes.